Juicy peaches, plump watermelons, and ripe zucchini. Farmers markets and grocery stores are full of your favorite summer fruits and vegetables. It takes long hours and hard work to harvest those crops. But some buzzy bugs are crucial to growing that produce. ABC2 News, Captain Hawley reports. And so with the bumblebees here, we can say there really is a change. On Towson Can University's here, campus, no, Associate Professor sure. John Lapola oversees a massive collection. And this cabinet here is all of our bumblebees. Nearly 100,000 insect specimens accumulated over the past 90 years. Um, all bugs you see right in your own backyard. <laughs> Insects make up 80% of all known animal species, yet the miniature creatures are barely counted, monitored, or studied. For most species, we don't have a clear idea of where they occurred and when they occurred there, except in collections like this. When a collection spans decades, researchers can see changes in the diversity and spot red flags. Like this one is from 1985. That's exactly what happened with local bumblebees. Here in Maryland, there are 15 different species buzzing around. In the early 80s, some Towson grad students went out in Baltimore County and captured thousands of them. They went and collected sort of every bumblebee they came across as they were doing their survey. It's a rare and thorough sample, and every known bumblebee in the state was found. 25 years later, Lapola and some students came back out to similar locations across the county and again collected thousands of bumblebees. But this time, there was a sharp drop in the numbers. What we found is that about half the species that were collected in 80, 1983, 1984 were present. Lapola says the findings point to fewer overall bumblebees flying around the region. However, one of those species has completely vanished from Maryland, Bombus aphanus, or the rusty patched bumblebee. At this point, we think it's, it's extirpated from the state. Sam Drogi runs the native bee inventory and monitoring lab for the U.S. Geological Survey. He says the rusty patched bumblebee used to be one of the most common pollinators across 31 states and provinces, but populations have dropped by about 90 percent. Despite a lot of work um, searching for, collecting, doing surveys of bees, we've collected almost a quarter million bee species. We have not seen a single one after 2002. This March, the rusty patched bumblebee was listed as federally endangered, the first bumblebee to be added to the list. The species is on the verge of collapse, and the massive decline happened right under our noses. We were caught completely unawares until they had essentially disappeared. So we had no warning system, and we need that kind of thing so that we can plan ahead. After the train wreck has occurred, you can't do anything about it. Researchers are working to understand exactly why the buzzing insect is disappearing. Some worry the fate of the rusty patched bumblebee could signal a bigger issue and other bees may be next. If we started having more and more bee species that be became endangered or disappeared from pathogens or whatever else, at some point different sections of the environment are going to collapse. Bumblebees play a vital role in the ecosystem, transferring pollen and seeds to fertilize a majority of native plants and wildflowers, as well as pollinating crops like tomatoes and berries. Without the bugs, there would be far-reaching consequences. If you remove those bees, and because they're so specialized, you're going to remove the possibility of some of these plants producing seed, they will disappear. Without the bees, those plants would die, causing a ripple effect impacting other insects, birds, and animals that depend on the plants, including us. The little things out there are um, really important for how the environment's functioning, right? But they, they sort of are the... The, the, the little critters that make sort of the world run in a, in a sense, right? Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News. Now, if you want to help the rusty patch bumblebees and other bees that live in our area, experts recommend growing flowers, trees, and shrubs, leaving some areas of your lawn unmowed so native plants can thrive and use little or no pesticides. We put much more information on this on our website at abcgnews.com.